Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwabili Rose Amador, and together we are Native Voice TV. We are the indigenous people. Yes, we are. And we have tips, <laughs> health tips today. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and who if, brings us those health tips? AARP is one of our co-sponsors. They bring in this health tip. Now, if I can read it. <laughs> The health tip the is health wear tip. your glasses. Yeah, exactly. Seven <laughs> tips on keeping your eyes healthy. One is get thorough exams, one to two years, depending upon your age. If you're over 60, get uh, uh, twice a year. Um, also, your diet has a real impact. You gotta have uh, leafy vegetables. That means you know. I should eat carrots, right? Yeah, carrots, definitely. You hate carrots, but <laughs> I eat hate them. carrots. Just do it. Okay, You I know, your fruits and vegetables. <laughs> um, load up on your leafy greens. Uh, wear eye protection when you're out in the, in the sun, you know, out in the summer. You know, make sure it has a UV protection and all that. Uh, take periodic breaks from watching TV or on when you're on the computer oh, yeah. and stuff like that. You know, you're sitting at the computer all day. <laughs> take a break, close your eyes, and watch TV. relax, and watch TV. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Cut down on the TV. Cut down on the TV. Watch for your symptoms. Another thing is too is if you're on other types of medication, make sure that this other type of medication doesn't bother your eyes or cause any symptoms that may alert you for something else because you may think that you're going blind, but it's just your medication. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's all brought to you by AARP. Thank you, AARP. You know, they've had a campaign going too, and it's called the Divided We Fail campaign. And we've been talking about it the last few weeks, and there it is, there's the card on the screen. If you go to www.aarp.org, you can find this card on their website, and you can fill it out. And it, what it does, it, it helps encourage our legislators to provide health care for all. And it's very important that indigenous people have health care because a lot of us don't. So this is one way that we can help um, our community, help ARP and support ARP who is supporting us. Oh yeah, definitely. ARP will support our community and will fund our community you know, in, in however way they can. So support ARP and the health campaign, please. And we have a few things coming up in the community. Um, let's see, what do we have? The All Nations Cultural Enrichment Program will be starting this fall. That will be at CTC. And I want to point out this beautiful drum that's sitting next to me on the set here. This was made by students in this particular program. It was made this summer, and they made the drumsticks, the drum, the painting. They did everything. So it's beautiful. We're really happy to have it here on the set. And uh, the students in this program will get educational uh, assistance, you know, after, uh, homework with their homework and so forth, but uh, they will get a lot of cultural enrichment and they'll learn how to make things such as this, not this drum, but maybe a hand drum, but the students did make this um, powwow drum and all of these drumsticks said it would probably seat about 10 uh, singers. Yeah. So it's a beautiful drum and yes, we're welcome is, is you nice. to our you set. Know, They get the opportunity of working with one another and having like a team effort. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's really good, positive um, a workshop for them. So that's from the uh, program at CTC, and you can call 251-3165 if you're interested in... Uh, there's going to be an, an orientation, I believe it's the 25th of September, for parents and the students to come and learn more about the program. But if you're interested, give us a call at 251-3165 at CTC. And what else is coming up? Let me think. Hmm, magic. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> the American um, Indian Heritage Celebration. Yeah, that's going to be September 22nd. That's 2007. National Hispanic University. That's 14271 Story Road, San Jose. That's, that's going to right be right there by White and Story. Yeah. Almost near the corner. Yeah. And that's going to be from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're going to have all kinds of dancers, drummers. It's uh, honoring our elders, our community. It's everyone in the community is welcome. And uh, we're going to MC part of it. 
Yeah. We'll be emceeing the program um, where the uh, they give the proclamation from the city, and some of the elected officials will be present. So that'll for be that what event. the first two hours. And the honoring of the elder. No, the, the elders. Um, that is the second in the middle. Okay. Around noonish. So come out and join us. So join us all day. It's going to be yeah. a lot of fun. A lot of crafts and music yeah. and dancing and singing so it'll so be a nice yeah event. so if you guys want to see see what peely come in the little that's right there, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> so come join us out there and what else we have a few more things coming up the west valley powwow is coming up oh. on saturday september 29th that's right around the corner oh, yeah. already it's noon wow. to midnight all drums and drummers and dancers welcome yeah so come out and join us there there's yeah. huh? oh we got our native tanic program Another one of our co-sponsors, which we appreciate, are at 490 North 1st Street, San Jose, California. Phone number 408-280-2280. We'll be hearing more about that program next week, too. Oh, cool. And Work to Future is a partner affiliate at CTC. That's at 1600 Las Plumas Avenue. You can actually come over there, look at the different jobs that are available in the community, get a little print out of the jobs. You can uh, register so you don't have to apply at each individual place. Oh, and yeah. Tune in for Indian Time Radio, KKUP 91.5, every Tuesday, 8 to 10 p.m. with Jack Hyatt and David Romero. And there they are. Yeah. And remember Leonard Peltier, 31 years of false imprisonment. Have you thought about Leonard Peltier today? Well, I think it's like 32 now, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. probably 32. There's a couple more things that I didn't get a chance to make a slide on, but we have, uh, let's see, Give Drugs the Blues, and this is Andy Santana. He will be at uh, performing at CTC, and that is on, I believe, the 19th. And this is before the um, American Indian Heritage Celebration. Is it cricket? And it's a fundraiser. Just uh, we're just taking donations, and this yeah. will to help put on that celebration at the National Hispanic University. Yeah, so he, he has a CD out that just came out uh, oh, a couple months ago. It's wonderful. He plays blues. Oh, yeah. And those of you who watch our show regular, He's, he was on a couple, maybe about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. About a month ago or so. Yeah, about a mm -hmm. month ago. Mm -hmm. And the second annual fundraiser comedy jam, October 20th, and this is at the Indian, the Indian Health Center is actually putting this on. Yeah, is that, there. there you go. <laughs> and it will be at CET, uh, the, their theater on Vine Avenue. Um, I know they were sold out last year. The comedy jam was really successful, very funny. So come out and join them this year. It's a al alcohol and drug free event, you know. Oh, but yeah. um, it's 7 p.m. to well, doors open. Yeah. 7 p.m. And I um, I have this really cool little <laughs> picture here. It's Native Doors Networking Center. And I'm holding up all the pictures today. <laughs> and it's my pleasure to introduce John Ammon who is working with this program. He'll tell us about this program and many more. Welcome, John. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, right. tell us a little bit about your tribe, of tribal affiliation. Okay. I, I, I couldn't really pronounce that. Could you okay, pronounce that for us? Sure, it's Sanungwe. Uh, I was born on a Hoopa Indian Reservation in Northern California, and uh, actually went to school there, K through, not K, I didn't go to K, but uh, first grade through high school. And uh, our family lived off the reservation. Mm -hmm. And so uh, even though uh, I did receive money from uh, the federal government for buying California a couple of times and uh, am registered with them as being Hoopa Indian, I don't meet the, re the residential requirement to be on the tribal roll. So uh, my family and a lot of other families that their ancestral homes uh, weren't where they drew the lines for the reservation. And so consequently, we're not federally recognized. And we've been going through the process, oh, for 20 years now of, process, of so. going through the uh, hoops. There's a kind of an interesting story. We, the hoops, huh? we, <laughs> 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 we met with uh, Senator Inouye's uh, aide one time at the uh, San Jose State, they were meeting with all of the uh, uh, unrecognized groups. And uh, my nephew, he said, uh, what do you recommend we do? Should we go through this process that, that no tribe at that time had completed it? 
Should we wait for legislation? Or should we just go to war? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, he was taking the uh, notes and he, he just kind of stopped and, <laughs> and he looked up and smiled. He said, probably the last one would get results faster. But, uh, you know, we're uh, a, uh, a group there that, uh, you know, our, our families have worked together for years and years and have actually uh, carried on the traditions the uh, uh, well, the last dance was back in the 30s in that area, but um, and uh, the relatives and my grandfather was actually the uh, the person in that area. If you want to tag some names on whatever leader, so uh, our family is recognized by by everyone, we just don't have the federal recognition. So mm -hmm. it's just politics as far as I'm concerned. But yeah. well, where in California is Okay, that? Uh, we're located between Eureka and Redding okay. on the uh, Trinity River. Mm -hmm. And uh, the name Sunungwe comes from the largest uh, village site 